Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Brake fluid is located over here. There is a minimum line just below the crease here in the bottle. And the max line is right here. If you need to add more, you can pull the cap right off. Add the appropriate fluid in here up to the max level. And reinstall the cap. Transmission dipstick is located here. You have the vehicle running when you check this. You'd unlock it, pull it out. So the lines here, I'm gonna wipe it. And if the vehicle's running, you put it back in. Pull it out. And then what you would do is you would check. So your fluid level cold, if the vehicle was just started, would be either low or high. Where the vehicle is hot, it'd be either low or high. So this is not showing correctly because all of the fluid is in the pan. And when the automatic transmission is running, the fluid is being pumped through the system. So that's why you need to check it when the vehicle is running because all the fluid is being pumped through the transmission. It gives you a better uh, indication of how much fluid is in the transmission. But that is how you would check it. So if you just start the vehicle up, it's running cold, you wanna either be right here at the high level. You definitely don't wanna be below the low indication. The vehicle has been driven and it's up to temperature. You want the fluid to be at this mark here, the high level, and not below the low level here. And you just add the appropriate amount of fluid until you reach the correct levels depending on the temperature of the transmission. To add more transmission fluid, put your funnel right in here and add your appropriate fluid right through the dipstick tube. I'll reinstall the dipstick and it'll lock in place. Check the engine oil. Pull the engine oil dipstick right here. Do this while the engine is cooled. Do this while the engine is off and it's been sitting for a while. That way the oil flows to the bottom of the pan. You get a better indication of how much oil is in there. I'll wipe it off. I'll reinsert the dipstick. Pull it back out. And right here we can see that'd be the low line. I'm showing it to you upside down. That's an L and then an F for full. This oil is nice and clean and new and it's right at the full mark, so that's perfect. If it was low, you just add the appropriate amount of oil until it comes up to the full level. And re reinstall the dipstick. To add oil, you'd add it through the oil fill cap just simply screws in here, unscrew it. Has the appropriate oil that's supposed to go in the vehicle marked on the cap. Put your funnel in here and add your oil. And when you're done, don't forget to reinstall the cap and screw it down. This is your coolant overflow reservoir. It has a low and a full mark. It's kind of halfway between this could stand to have a little bit of coolant added up to the full mark. When the system heats up, the coolant can overflow into here because coolant will expand with heat, so it needs to have a place to go. Additionally, you can check the level of your coolant when the vehicle is cool, always when the vehicle is cool. You can open up the radiator and look inside of it. You do not want to open this up when it's hot because it's basically hot steam inside. As soon as it, you undo it, you'll get a bunch of boiling water and steam. But when it's cool, you can open it up. And even still, it's under some pressure. You might spill some coolant. This is nice and full, right to the top of the radiator. So that's perfect. So all I would do is add a little bit here to the overflow to bring it up to the full level. But otherwise, if this is nice and full, that's perfect. Just reinstall the cap. And then you'll want to clean up any coolant that you spilled so you don't have to smell it. You need to add coolant to the overflow bottle. Just pull this off, just pops right off. Use your funnel, add the appropriate amount of fluid, the coolant, pop back on. Windshield washer fluid. The bottle is kind of translucent, so you can see in here. 
There's no dipstick or anything. All you do is fill it right up to the neck so you can see it's full. These usually take about a gallon of windshield washer fluid. So you can either use a funnel or just carefully pull it from the port from the bottle right in here and then reinstall the cap when you're done. This is the power steering reservoir. There's two sets of lines on either side here. There is a cold minimum, a cold max, a hot minimum, and a hot max. So since the vehicle is cold, I'm looking on this side, it's above the cold minimum, it's almost to the cold max fill. So I'm happy with the amount of fluid that's in here. If the vehicle was running, it was warm, you'd want it to either be, you'd want it to be at the hot max line and not at the hot max not at the hot minimum line, so you'd add fluid. But so basically, depending on the temperature of the engine, how long it's been running, just add the appropriate amount of fluid and the appropriate kind. To add some, you just open it up. It's got arrows telling you how to do it. Turn it counterclockwise. It opens right up. Use your funnel. Add your fluid in there. Close it back up. Lock it. And that's all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.